guys, I got another vlog. So we yeah, are doing, I'm here with my brothers, Jeffrey and my brother Sean all band. So keep that, Sean with your shirt. Okay, so we're back on the KE. So the previous what we done is like, <coughs> previous we done, uh, we done, you can see the intake and some disc brake doing, doing some modification of the disc brake for the drum. So this is, I show you what you all we did for previous because we are still busy doing for this car for the 20 May. This 20 May, all right, this 20 May we are going to overheat. So you can see inside. Okay, simple, clean, hydro in, everything seat in, all. So now we're doing everything back. So wiring clean. Let's go to the engine bay. Engine bay, same. Just have to do the radiator. We do V mount, V mount radiator. You can see V mount radiator. All right. And then we need to service the engine and then the intake you can see we did before longer for higher torque setting I think I guess so now we are doing ah previously we tell you going to put this right so right now what we did is we changed the whole axle whole axle okay the whole axle this is the whole this is actually we call it axle so we are using right now C22 axle so if y'all guys follow me on Instagram or in Switch Killer page, you can see some of the video. So we do some test and tuning. So the ratio is very long for the stock. So we want a short ratio. So we go with the van, C22 van. As you can see, if you can find this van, uh, you can modify the axle to your KE. But you want to use 4K engine, it will be like you like running like 11 or 7K. La. Okay, and then with one more one we did is we took out the tank. Fuel tank. I'm using this fuel tank, racing fuel tank, aluminium, we steal from the drift car from my E36. It is this uh, fuel tank, we put it in here, alright. So, so, why are we using this behind and everything? Why the drum cannot? Okay, first thing first, we will be flying like hell, so we don't we want stuff for our brakes and everything. Lah. Not for brake in the leg, for hydro, so when we drift, right? We have to be careful when we drifting side to side. So we put this for better grip, so we can slow down the car fast. All right, and then one more is like we did is before that it was running on second hand adjustable right there. So we bought new adjustable. Front is done. I will cheat coat down a bit. This is the back. Proton Vira. We are not using Sylvia or K70. Adjustable I always use is Proton Vira. You can get cheap, cheap parts. I uh, bought it for 700 and 770. The exover. Yeah. So if you want to modify on your KE, adjustable, you don't have to buy so expensive one. Just buy one cheap Vira one lah. Alright. So this one is high low body shift lah. So now we're doing the this. So the this is okay. Do you guys want to convert this? Get a Proton Waja back disc and K70 brake caliper front uh, for hydro. So this is the process right now lah. So we are doing it today. We want to see up for the 20 May overheat. So hope you guys are there. You all can get a ride. Hit me up. You can go ride with me. Hope the car front properly. So we have still a lot of things to do. There's no roll cage. We have to put the roll cage. Uh, we have the roll cage plug and play run because I got no time to do a uh, fresh roll cage right now. Uh, so basically, it's like sambong what we doing right now, like the previous uh, on the KE build, a budget drift car. But yeah, it's a budget drift car. That's why I tell you. So if you all like a K70, I recommend you all get a C22 XL, uh, Nissan Venet. Like this, this one. Alright, you see this van ah, okay? So if you find somewhere outside the road, that's the uncle. Uncle is selling the Excel I want to buy. I get that. If you can get it, so if online I see like around 200, I think 200, 200, 300, 400, like that lah. The big kurang lah. So body kit is A86. Sean, Sean did. So Sean <laughs> oh, continue. What damn near? Uh, so this van, Jeffy. So you're doing the this right now. Trying to modify the back adjustable, how to fit it nicely for Pira. So, so it's pretty clean now. Before that, it was in a mess right inside. So, wiring all already kemas. Sedih lah. 
inside key start everything all done engine as well we did something because the engine was not, wasn't running right i think three years already yeah, the engine so see what we're doing now Alright, so come back to what we did this time we were cutting and doing some stuff a bit serious so because to check double check everything now so alright let's see ya so actually it's in it's finally in long shaft all done so just to cut and welding a bit and make it center so it does not shake that's a long shaft that is the diff c22 so the adjustable very do very good we are adjustable so right now we don't know the adjustable is it too high or too low I want the car very low, so I don't know. I maybe have to modify the body a bit. Uh, ben and I now doing the start and putting this. So we got hydro. We do nice, nicer bracket there. And then uh, you can see here, uh, here already done. Start back because we uh, see we do using Nissan Thread. So now we do Toyota Thread. This is just for Vita. So if you, you guys want to put VR, you can, but for because we cut the body to this height, so if normally we have fender under here, so I want it go some more lower to tuck in, so I want the skirt like the skirt to two finger to the ground, so when you're drifting, it's like that. So some more, what, what else we are doing right now is just uh, we need to do bleed the brakes, the back brakes, and then pour the gear oil for the rear axle, then we'll be done. So yeah. The sound was a bit noisy, so now because no more grinding, so this is the back. So we have to do the body a bit, a bit crack and crack. So after this, we're going to strengthen everything back, lah. So to drive, this is the tank, like E36 fuel tank. Now we're doing it, lah. Slow by slow, but getting ready. It's supposed to test today, but I don't know. Maybe night we will test. But, uh, so let's go back and see lah, everything what I did. <coughs> yeah. Ah, uh, some more. Wait, they're gonna copyright. Okay. Engine bay. So you can see here. The data Vira. We did the intake. And then we take out the intake manifold because down there got water, some water pipe down there, down there. So we block. We, put, we do one custom plate. I never show you because the day was too stressed and everything because the engine low power. We block out the water. So now we're doing back the fuel regulator, fuel pump, fuel pressure is low, everything is low, so everything we're doing is back one by one. So the exhaust also we can change to just my exhaust. And then inside, inside we have already four doors here, so we bring the paint the car one shot. So let's go inside here. So inside here got on the got hole here, so we have to cover this. Basically after the board, nothing inside. And then our key here start here. So because the uh, key already the, that key there spoiled already, so we have to do one custom or not. Cheaper way because this is for my E6 game that there. And then everything we take out we put here. So we can do we're going to do hydro we need to bleed. This is our uh, sister here, so standing everything. Roll case we're going to do next, so back uh, everything we have to block everything, do it nicely, so maybe my brothers or see whoever competing the next NDS slide, we can drive this car. Lah. So, yeah, we took out the exhaust because it's too annoying, not nice. Yeah. So what do you do, so what are you doing a lot of mess, you make one mess here. Uh, so yeah, thank you all to show you guys the... Uh, 8.36 progress what I did uh, so I now still saving some money up because I just we do some okay on the E36 alright E36 drift car my my pro drift car lah, you can call that so we ch change the bigger turbo so no power setting delete power setting delete the waste kit will be down here 
So we're going to put the power steering pump here. It's an electronic one. So we're going to electronic power steering pump. Uh, so same setup, intake and everything. Just the engine push behind. I think you guys saw. I push the engine way, way behind. It's supposed to be the timing belt will be here. But I push it in. I cut the firewall and everything. Uh, so and then inside make it clean we spray it now it's a bit dusty because the shop, my shop is very very dusty uh, so everything clean now at location all we painted make it nice and then we did a uh, we update the angle kit so lower arm all so you can see here okay pillow pillow like, like a ball like a ball bearing what and then something like that adjustable so same thing we are Mm. So you can see the angle, alright. Turn for you. Uh, more angle. So if original being will be less, uh, thing like this. So now we not yet, I not yet test yet it's the angle kit. So because too busy building the uh, one more key for my C time for practice car or we we guys practice car and maybe like a drift school. Uh, so now one key done. So one more key we need to do. Yeah, so lots of things need to do. So I'm talking, 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 talking. So this is the update of the car. So looks will be soon. We're going to paint the car. Uh, soon we're going to paint this car. Make it all nice, high end everything. So we just still touching here, touching there. I want to rebuild my old KE. If you guys know me from last time, I got an old KE seventy with SR twenty power and it very fast, very powerful. I changed the ratio itself. So the difference, <coughs> the difference is the. All right, let me explain why we changed the ratio. The gearbox, the gearbox, the rear gearbox for the case. Okay. First thing first. First thing first, why I changed? Okay, this is way smaller. It's this thing is not much, right? The inside, the gigi, everything is small, so it's easily to break. Okay. And then one more thing is the ratio. So ratio is like the gearing of the car. So I changed now the original K70 gearing is a 3 3.9. So it's a very long ratio. So your first, second, third gear very long. So we change to shorter ratio like a Venet, when so it's a bigger like this one. It's way bigger. And then the ratio is 4.9, 4.6 I think, 4.6. So longer ratio so we like we can feel the power like first second third fourth we can feel the like it's fast like the change here. so the pickup is fast uh, so in, in drift in in uh, when you play drift the ratio is very important. because we got no money to buy quick change and gearbox and everything so we use we see what we got a cheaper way so we, for basic 4k setup i like to use c22 venet excel and and then if you want to play NA, C22 is the best Excel, uh, it will last longer. And then you put SR NA also, this SR what, what we're using, it's enough to play that you can catch up with any car you want. That's what I've been using last time. I made, I won with that setup also before. So that's the best setup you can use for K70. You don't have to change cam bigger number or 86. Or you use the A86 Excel like you buy for 1000 plus, it's just waste of money. Just get yourself a uh, Nissan Venet or KM Tiger Nam Ven, and then you, you can play with fun with short ratio. Okay. Even though you're using a stock engine, you just use this Excel, so it's like enough. Uh, it's very fun, shorter ratio. It's like making your car like a tamba, like another three, uh, 30 horsepower, like 60 horsepower, like you feel. Because short ratio. Uh, so that's, that's why I'm changing the ratio. So, yeah, that's it. So maybe see how maybe in this vlog or next vlog we will test the car what because I think now it's already six o'clock and in summer it's raining uh, so yeah I'm slowly doing it yeah. and one more thing about one of my cars uh, you all know about this is my Evo 3 Vira Evo 3 okay why you all never see me doing this car this car I parked like around like I think around I think half a year one year half a year plus because uh you know why first thing first is it's Evo 3 right I I didn't do perfectly and the cement cracked so I don't like 
so right now I'm doing it back so this side is already done so I painted the back fully so the body line all straight you can see before that it was like you can put your one finger gap here uh, and then I took it the day to uh, drift event for my support my friend Jerry and coming back on the highway I think I was too heavy on my foot I blown the engine the engine is jammed yeah I don't know what happened maybe oil pump failed or what so, yeah sad but I cannot drive this car for long maybe I think I think from I think from half of the way to KL to Tremban, I'm driving without the oil pump because I don't want to tow. So I think the turbo is gone, the engine gone, everything gone. So I have to do back this car. Maybe see what's my plan. I want to put different engine or a bigger engine. This car have to sleep. So have to sleep. This car have to go and sleep right now. So. I got no budget because of my budget everything I want to concentrate on the drift car right now uh, and then one more car I use for uh, daily drive you all know the E36 blue one who oh, that day I was going to Semine and the car caught on fire underneath my leg so the car is on top doing wiring I don't know if it will work or not work or not I'll be engine swapping that in car we will see how okay so see if we continue what we're doing right now see maybe you can see some drift action